Hello, I'm Patrick Greibschlinger and I want to present our work Avatar in a massive analysis environment for human motion data combining interactive 3D avatars and trajectories. This is work I did together with Frederick Brody, Justin Mateka, George Fitzmaurice and Fraser Anderson from Autodesk Research, as well as together with Raymond Duxfield from the Technische Universität Dresden. Avatar uses an augmented reality head mounted display to visualize virtual avatars reconstructed from 3D skeleton data directly in the environment in which they have been captured. We designed several techniques for visualizing not only the avatars themselves, but also where a person walked, where they looked at, and what objects in the environment they touched. All visualization techniques can be accessed using the body of the virtual avatar itself by mid-air interaction. Furthermore, we also integrated an interactive tablet which provides alternative touch input and acts as an overview device. The visualization of human motion data has been studied extensively. A majority of these works are desktop-based solutions using a combination of 2D map-based trajectories and heat maps, sometimes accompanied by auxiliary visualizations. However, there is also research which uses immersive technologies, such as virtual and augmented reality, to visualize motion data as 3D trajectories. What differentiates Avatar from previous work is the focus on immersive and C2 analysis using humanoid avatars, complemented by 3D trajectories, as well as visualizations embedded directly in the environment. This avatar provides a system of integrated techniques that have the potential to reveal much more insights when analyzing motion data than just trajectory-based tools. For more detailed analysis of the related work, I would like to refer to our paper. The core principles of avatar are as follows. An analyst wears an AI head mounted display and can move freely into an environment to analyze spatially registered human motion data. The visualizations take the form of humanoid avatars, which can be directly interacted with using the air input. These avatars are supported by other visualizations, such as 3D trajectories, which can be accessed by interacting with the avatar's body parts. This puts a variety of techniques at the analyst's disposal, which can be utilized for gaining insights into the behavior of a person directly, in the same space in which the data has been recorded. To summarize our contributions for Avatar are the design of an in-situ analysis environment for human motion data using a variety of techniques, accessing and manipulating those techniques through the body parts of an avatar as well as a tablet interface, and the prototype implementation of our concepts as well as free use case scenarios. In the following, I will represent each of the visualization techniques that together compose Avatar and elaborate on how they can be useful tools for the analysis of human motion data. The central visualization technique are the humanoid 3D avatars themselves, which provide a detailed representation of a person's posture at a specific point in time. They are color-coded to represent different persons and can be animated to perceive them in motion. Furthermore, each avatar provides access to additional visualizations, like trajectories, by interacting with the various body parts of the avatar itself. In contrast to avatars, 3D trajectories provide a good overview of multiple points in time. Our system provides those trajectories not only for the general position of a person, but for individual body parts like hands, feet and head as well. Other trajectories offer much less detail in comparison to avatars. By combining the two, our system offers the benefit of both techniques. We utilize this for example in the ghost preview technique, where simply looking at a specific point on a trajectory provides a detailed preview of the whole avatar or single body part at that point in time. The previous can also be pinned for further reference. Another technique that utilizes the combination of trajectories and avatars is the spectre visualization technique, where the humanoid avatars are used in a trajectory-like manner to provide a detailed overview over multiple points in time. Because avatars are an in-situ analysis framework, visualizations can be directly embedded into the environment, for example by showing heat maps on the floor that give a general overview of where people moved. These visualizations can even be occluded by real objects and thus become part of the environment itself. As an alternative to heat maps, Avatar also provides a footprint visualization that shows imprints at the exact position where a person's feet touch the floor. This allows for more insights when analyzing the movement of a person than the abstract overview provided by a heat map. Another important aspect when analyzing a person's behavior is where their visual focus was directed at. For this, we represent the gaze visualization, which sends rays from the person's eyes into the environment and visualizes where they collide with other objects. This enables an analyst to perceive what a person could see from their current position and which things were obstructed by other objects or their own body. The last technique I want to present visualizes touches of a person with the environment. This can be useful for an analyst to understand what objects a person touched and when. The touch points are calculated by measuring when the distance between a person's finger and an object in the environment falls below a certain threshold. By selecting one of the visual imprints created by this technique, time is advanced to the point where the touch occurred. 
this, an analyst can quickly switch between different points and use the other techniques to analyze the context of a touch for further insights on what a person was doing. While a system utilizes mid-air input for interacting directly with avatars and other visualizations, this can sometimes be impractical, because objects might be far away or obstructed by other objects or the environment. Therefore, Avatar provides analysts with a tablet interface as well, which supports touch interaction. It allows to activate and deactivate all visualizations for each avatar and provides time controls for manipulating them. Furthermore, the tablet acts as an overview device as well, providing a floor plan view which shows the current position and orientation of the analyst as well as the position of avatars in the 2D top-down trajectory of the overall movement. To explore the technical feasibility of our system, we developed a prototype using the Microsoft HoloLens 2 as AR device and the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 as a combining tablet. The applications for both devices were implemented using the Unity 3D engine and synchronized their state over a central PCP server. For datasets, we used the CM Open Optics Skeleton dataset, the GTA dataset, and a custom dataset using one of the Outer's Home Office environments. To demonstrate the transferability of our concepts to different application domains, we developed three use case scenarios. The first one is an office environment where we explored how avatar may be used to check things like social distancing and identify areas that are frequently touched by several people and therefore may require special hygiene considerations. The second one is the remote analysis of a dance choreography, where an instructor can remotely analyze the dance routine of a client by using a combination of avatar's visualizations. This use case is based on a CM and Panoptic dataset. The third and last use case is a shopping scenario, where an employer uses Avatar to analyze movement patterns of shoppers throughout the store to identify bottlenecks and their typical routines when visiting the store. This concludes my presentation of our work Avatar. I would like to refer to our paper for a discussion of the limitations of Avatar and its relationship to the underlying dataset. We consider the next step for Avatar to take our prototype to conduct a user study in real-world use case scenario and evaluate how Avatar can help to support the analysis of human motion data. We are confident that our work can provide a real benefit in this regard and help analysts immerse themselves with the person being analyzed.